Hello and welcome to Tip and Trick ACA003 entitled Working in Elevation. The purpose of this tip and trick is to enhance your skills and share with you the solutions to problems that other users experience. Our tips and tricks are created from the top 30 support calls logged with our support desk and if you require more information on our support desk then please contact our customer services on 01784 419911 or email customer.services at catline.co.uk All of our tips and tricks can also be found on our website at www.catline.co.uk and please remember that we are also issuing tips and tricks for all of the other Autodesk products as well as the one you are about to watch. Now in front of you on the screen what you can see is quite clearly a GA plan. All of this is done using AutoCAD architecture there are intelligent walls, windows, doors, even the tags and room names and schedules are all linked intelligently into this AutoCAD model. Now this is all very good for anybody technical and we can all see that the plan works, the windows are in the right place, etc. etc. But sometimes when you're actually designing the house, it's hard to design and actually visualise what it's going to be like in plan. A lot of plans are actually designed in elevation and then the information is taken into the plan from there. Now we can do this using AutoCAD architecture and I'm about to show you how. What we can do, we can do something called isolate in elevation. Now I'm going to select all of the items that I want to include in my elevation and we're going to click on this elevation just here. From there I right click and under isolate objects I go to edit in elevation. It's then going to ask me which way that I want my elevation to go, so I'm just going to pick here. There we go, I'm going to drag it to there. Okay, the drawing now pops up in elevation, and you can see here we've got this little icon, which is basically our get out to go back into our plan view. Obviously, at the minute we're working in 2D wireframe, so the drawing looks a little bit crazy, so let's change this. We can either change it to a simple conceptual like that, which I like working in, it makes it quite quick and easy. Or if we really want to, we can start working in realistic. Now this can take a little bit longer and it can slow down your machine, but sometimes to get a good idea of what's going on, it's also, also possible. And here we go, we now have our elevation just here, and I've put it into realistic view so we see the brickwork. Please excuse the architecture, it's not one of my strong points in design. However, here we go. I'm just going to quickly show you um, some of the nice little tools that you can do um, while you're using it in this way. For example, we can just simply take the, mirror, the window, sorry, and we can move it in elevation. So let's say let's move it a meter in this direction. There we go, and it will actually move it in elevation. Obviously, that's going to filter through to the plan. We can also then copy and let's say two meters in this direction. There we go. So we can start having a look now and designing and having a look at how our elevation is going to work and let's face it that's the way that we work we can even throw a window upstairs just by simply copying it vertically up in this direction there we go and let's move it central there we go a masterpiece okay well anyway i hope this helps you in every way that you can and i look forward to speaking to you next time thank you bye bye